this whole advice of live in the present, live in the present doesn't make any sense to me. The real question is why it is difficult to live in the present. And the reason it is difficult to live in the present because the moment of present is absolutely unknown. We have no idea what is going to happen in the present. We have idea what happened in the past. We also have idea what is going to happen in the future. We also believe in that. But we have no idea what is going to happen in the present. Absolutely unknown. And the moment brain enters into the area of unknown, you are biologically wired, you are evolutionary wired to consider that feeling, that unknown feeling as threat, as danger. It's coming from the millions of years of biological wiring. And then we have that discomfortable feeling, then we are a little stressed from inside, and then the brain does what it does the best, pulls you back to the stories of the past or the imaginations of the future. We don't want to stay in the present. The idea is not to train your mind to stay in the present, but the idea is to train your mind to become comfortable with this discomfortable feeling. The idea is to train yourself to sit in that discomfort and tell your amygdala, it's not jungle now, it's safe. If this is silence, this is stillness. The whole idea is training your mind, ladies and gentlemen, that even in that discomfortable feeling, you can stay comfortable. That's how you rewire your old evolutionary wiring, which are unnecessarily fighting in this modern world.